Gunsmoke. Brought to you by L and M Filters. This is it. L and M is best. Stands out from all the rest. Around Dodge City and in the territory on West, there's just one way to handle the killers and the spoilers, and that's with a U.S. Marshal and the smell of gun smoke. Gunsmoke, starring William Conrad. The transcribed story of the violence that moved west with young America. And the story of a man who moved with it. I'm that man. Matt Dillon, United States Marshal. The first man they look for and the last they want to meet. It's a chancy job, and it makes a man watchful. And a little lonely. <laughs> Miss Kitty. Hey, look what I got. Well, what about it? Why, that's a whole dollar, Miss Kitty. Well, congratulations, Chester. I borrowed it off Mr. Dillon. He's outside there talking to some fella. Huh? I'd be mighty proud if you'd have a beer with me, Miss Kitty. Well, you know I don't like to drink at the bar, Chester. Well, we can sit down. And I'm tired of sitting. I'll have a beer with you right here. All right, that's fine. Uh, Sam... Yeah. Uh, draw a couple beers for me and this lady. We're sure. Coming up, Chester. Chester, you talk about me like I was a stranger around here. What do you mean, this lady? Why, I always think of you as a lady, Miss Kitty. Uh, well, I mean, I don't never... I... Well, thank you, Chester. Here. Here's your beer. Here's your money, Sam. Okay. Oh, my, it looks nice and cold, don't it? You look like you're about to swim in it, Chester. That's right, I'd like to. Hey, Kitty. <laughs> hmm? They told me your name's Kitty. It is. Well, then why don't you say hello? Hello. Let's drink, Chester. Now, that ain't no way to act. All right, now leave her alone, mister. Well, I didn't come over here to leave her alone. Stop that. Stop. What? What do you think? No, you're Chester, pr- I'll handle this. Get out of the way, Miss Kitty. Chester. Get out of the way, I said. It's all right, Kitty. I'll see you afterwards. I'm going. And I know where, too. Your move, stranger. Well, go ahead. I guess you don't know who I am, do you? Stranger is good enough for me. Don't be a fool. We ain't fighting over me. Wait till you hear my name. It's Shin. Hank Shin. Oh, mine's Chester Proudfoot. You mean you never heard of Hank Shin? No. Anybody ever hear of Hank Shin? No. Who's she? Yeah, nobody never heard of you. Now, fighter, get out. It must be somebody. You heard him. Chester. No, sir. This is my fight, Mr. Dillon. I interfere in all fights. You know that. But he insulted a yeah, lady. Yeah, she told me. But there isn't going to be any gunplay over it. It better not be. That's right, stranger. So you get out of here. You don't know who you're talking to. Hey, Marshal. Marshal? Yeah, what is it, Davy? I followed you in here, Marshal. It's a good thing, too. Oh, why? This here is Hank Shin. I've been telling him that. I never met him, but I've seen him. So... Well, maybe you never heard of him here, Marshal, but I was up in Dakota Territory last year. Hank Shin's got quite a reputation up there. Oh? For what? For gunmen, Marshal. Why, there ain't nobody up there to go against him. Ain't that so, Shin? Three men tried it once. By golly, that's right. 
That was in the town of Blackhawk, wasn't it, Chin? That's where it happened. Three men tried to take him in a saloon there, Marshal, and he killed every one of them. It was all gunmen, too. But people are still talking about it. Hank Shin's got about the biggest reputation of anybody up there. I guess the word don't get to Dodge very fast. Well, maybe I ought to apologize to you, Shin. Oh, it's all right, Marshal. You didn't know. Forget it. Okay, now forget it. But I want you to remember something. What? You're going to impress a lot of citizens around here. But I don't care how big a man you are in Black Hawk or any place else. You start trouble and dodge and I'll cut your string. You're talking mighty loose, Marshal. You know, somehow I got a feeling you kind of thrive on talk. I don't think I like that. Don't you? Come on, Chester. Yes, sir. I'd have fought him anyway, Mr. Dillon. I, I don't care who he is. I didn't step in to help you out, Chester. I did it to stop a gunfight. Oh, somebody's going to fight him if he keeps going on like that. Maybe. And I hope there's no trouble while I'm gone. Yeah. Say, I plumb forgot. You're taking Santa Fe up to Abilene tonight, ain't you? Yeah, I'll be back in about a week. But if this Hank Shen starts on a killing spree, you telegraph me. Yes, sir, I sure will, Mr. Dillon. This is it, L and M filters. It stands out from all the rest. Miracle tip. Much more flavor. L&M's got everything. It's the best. L&M is best. Stands out from all the rest. L&M's got everything. Everything? Everything. Best flavor? L&M stands out for flavor. The Miracle Tip draws easy. Let's you enjoy all the taste. Best filter? L&M stands out for effective filtration. No filter compares with L&M's pure white Miracle Tip for quality or effectiveness. Best tobaccos? Highest quality tobaccos. Low nicotine tobaccos. L&M tobaccos. Light and mild. Every way, L&M is best. Stands out from all the rest. How easy they draw. How mild they are. L&M is sweeping the country. It's America's best filter tip cigarette. My business in Abilene didn't take as long as I thought it would. And I was back in Dodge four or five days later. And I found that the growth of Hank Shin's reputation hadn't taken long either. I heard about it at the depot, at the post office, and then at Delmonico's, where I stopped in for a cup of coffee. Kitty was there, finishing her dinner at a corner table. And she beckoned me when I walked in. Hello, Matt. Hello, Kitty. How are you? How's Abilene? Well, it's still growing. Uh, oh, uh, Bill Hickok sent his regards. That's nicer. Is he as handsome as ever? Yeah, he is. <laughs> you know, I, uh, I, I'm kind of worried about him, Kitty. Oh, why, Matt? That's his eyes. I, I don't think they're as good as they used to be. Oh, well, that's bad. Yeah. Well, how are things around here? Well, the only thing that's growing here seems to be Hank Shin. Yeah, they tell me he's having a real fine time. Oh, he's acting mighty proud, Matt. But I've seen his kind before. Oh? Oh, how do you mean? Well, somebody who hasn't heard what a devil he is with a gun just might shoot a hole in him one of these days. <laughs> You know, I got a feeling that you'd like to do it yourself. <laughs> Matt, if women ever took to carrying guns, you men would have to start behaving yourselves. All of you. <laughs> Uh-oh. What? Welcome back to Dodge, Marshal. Hello, Shen. 
We missed you. Didn't we, Kitty? Something you wanted? I declare you're as hard to get along with as she is. She won't even talk to me. Just because a person lives around hogs, he doesn't have to wallow with them. I wouldn't take that from a man. Well, from what I hear, no man's dared to talk to you like that, Jim. You bet they haven't. Yeah, you got the town pretty well buffaloed, haven't you? A little respect is all I ask for, Marshal. Uh-huh. The uh, kind you got up in Blackhawk? The kind I'm getting here from most people. But not from me. Though. I got no quarrel with you, Marshal. <sighs> you know, you can't seem to make up your mind. What's your trouble, Shen? I got no trouble. Why do you say that? I don't know. Just a feeling, I guess. But uh, don't let it spook you. Nothing spooks me. Oh, you're lucky. So far. I don't like this talk. Nobody's making you listen to it. Well, you bet they ain't. I think, Matt? No, what, Kitty? I think Hank Shin's off-center. Way off. Well, we'll find out how far, Kitty. Any day now. you get back, Mad? Oh, about an hour ago. I was just coming up to see you. You were, yeah? Yeah. Hey, yeah. uh, you remember Jim Branch? Jim Branch? Oh, oh, Jim Branch. Yes, I ought to. I cut a frozen toe off of him last winter. Yeah, well, I ran into him up in Abilene. He uh, wanted me to give you this. He did? Well, what is it? Twenty dollars? Oh, twenty dollars. Well, that was worth waiting for. Uh, he didn't know exactly how much it was that he did owe you. I'd nick him for more if he was here, but this'll do all right. <laughs> What's he doing in Abilene? He give up buffalo hunting? Ah, he told me he'd never go out on the prairie again. He's running the old golf house right now. The old golf house? You mean, did he buy that? No, he bought into it. Oh, yes, I always knew that man had money hidden away somewheres. Well, he's quite a dude now, Doc. Beaver hat, fancy shirts. Oh. <laughs> I hardly recognize him. What's that? It came from the Oliveraganza. Yeah. I thought things had been too quiet around here lately. It's about time we had a killing. There's Chester. Oh, good. At least it wasn't him that got shot. Mr. Dillon? What happened, Chester? It was Hank Chen, Mr. Dillon. He just killed a man in there. What, a fight? Yes, sir. Oh, this fellow was awful drunk. Some stranger, I don't know who he was. Well, him and Chen got to arguing, and he went for his gun, and Chen shot him. Killed him dead. Well, I'll look at him anyways. He seemed half scared, Mr. Dillon. Oh, Shen? Yes, sir. He kept trying to say who he was, but the fellow was too drunk to pay any attention. And then afterwards, Shen looked kindly surprised, like he didn't quite know what had happened. Oh, is that so? There he is at the bar there. Oh, well, where's the dead man? Well, he was right here with you. Oh, somebody drug him off the corner there. Oh, yes, I see him. I see him. Stand back. Here's the marshal, Shin. Now, what's he want? Now, it was a fair fight. Now, you tell him, Davy. Sure, sure, I will. Marshal, I seen the whole thing. Chester already told me about it, Dave. That fella drawed first. I... I tried to tell him who I was, but he wouldn't listen. I did, too. I told him the serious Hank Shin from Blackhawk. I told him that before he ever got started. He was drunk. He was too drunk to know what he was doing. Too drunk to fight? He shouldn't have tried to fight me. He should have known better than that. Now maybe people will leave me alone. Why? Because you outdrew a drunk man? What are you saying, Marshal? You seem kind of upset, Shin. Did it get you this way when you killed those three men up in Black Hook? I'm all right. I'm all right. Now you leave me alone. I want everybody to leave me alone. Yeah, sure. That next time it may be a little different. What do you mean? Somebody might come along who hasn't been told what a killer you are. A real gunman, Shen, not some drunk who probably couldn't shoot straight if he was sober. 
You're, you're the worst man I ever met, Marshal. Anyway, I told you to leave me alone. Okay, Sean, I'll leave you alone. Here. Have a drink on me. You need it. Come on, Chester. My, he, he's so mad he can't talk, Mr. Dillon. He's already talked too much. What's wrong with him, anyway? Uh, maybe he's not getting all the respect he needs. No. Wait a minute. What? That man tying up his horse over there. I don't know him. He knows you, though. He's coming over here. Yeah. Who is he? He's a gunman from New Mexico, Chester. His name's Al Janes. By golly, I was right. Matt Dillon. Yeah, that's right. Hello, James. It's Marshal Dillon now, ain't it? Uh-huh. Oh, this is Chester Proudfoot. Al James. How you do? Chester? Oh, what are you doing in Dodge? Oh, nothing, Marshal. Looking around. Yeah. You, uh, never came here before. No. Hm. I never did. A man like you has usually got something in his mind, has he? <laughs> I'm here on pleasure, Marshal. Little gambling and the like. Uh-huh. <laughs> All right, James, but uh, you stay out of trouble. Huh? Dodge isn't as wide open as some of the towns you've been in. Man gets a reputation, it sure stays with him, don't it? You wouldn't be able to sell your gun if it didn't. <laughs> now, ain't that the truth? Uh, see you around later. I'll buy you a drink, maybe. You too, Chester. Uh, sure. What do you suppose he is doing here, Mr. Dillon? Nothing, Chester. I believe him. He's a paid gunman, but I've never known him to lie. Well, then there ain't nothing so much to worry about, huh? Chester, around a man like Al James, there's always something to worry about. I've got L and M. I've got L and M. I've got L and M. And L and M's got everything. Best filter. No filter compares with L and M's pure white miracle tip for quality or effectiveness. Best flavor. The miracle tip draws easy, lets you enjoy all the taste. Best tobaccos. Highest quality tobaccos. Low nicotine tobaccos. L and M tobaccos. Light and mild. Today, buy L and M. It's sweeping the country because it's America's best filter tip cigarette. Yes, today, why don't you get L and M? Because L and M's got everything. This is it. L and M filters. L and M's got everything. It's the best. Did you have a good supper? Oh, just terrible. <laughs> oh, where'd you eat? Over at the Durango Cafe. Ah, uh, couldn't have been uh, chili beans. Yes, sir. Oh, I'll never go there again. Not after tonight. <laughs> Why not? Well, they're sour, Mr. Dillon. Like they'd been cooked a month ago. My, I had an awful time getting them down. Well, you didn't have to eat them, you know, Chester. Well, after putting out 15 cents, of course I had to eat them. Oh. If I wouldn't have been so hungry, I wouldn't have had them. I ain't one to... Marshal? Evening, Shen. Marshal, I've been thinking. What? 
I've been thinking about this afternoon. Yeah. You was right. I needed a drink. So? I... I don't like killing people, Marshal. And that's the truth. I, I don't like it. Why are you telling me about it? I tried to tell Davy and some of them fellas, but they wouldn't believe me. I'm tired of it, Marshal. I just don't want no part of it. Oh? Uh-huh. I thought maybe you could explain it to them, to everybody. And they listen to you. You tell them I'm through, Marshal. Tell them I ain't a gunman no more. Just a plain, ordinary man. And if you're so plain and ordinary, why don't you tell me what this is all about? I did tell you. And if you don't believe me, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to take off my gun. And I'm going to leave it right here. Now there. Now you believe me? Well, do you? I don't know what to think of you, Shannon. But I proved it. Now, there's my gun. And you got to tell him, Marshal. I got me a bottle in my coat pocket. I, I'm going to my room, and I'm going to forget all about this. You tell him now, Marshal. And you tell him tonight. He is crazy, Mr. Dillon. Yeah, there's something sure wrong with him. I don't believe any of that about him being tired of killing people. No. Yeah. It's more like he's scared of something, ain't it? Chester. Yes, sir? I think I know what it might be. What? Al James. What's he got to do with it? I don't know. But let's go find him. Well, what for? To tell him Hank Shen isn't armed. Well, he could see that. He was wearing a coat, Chester. That's right out there in the street. Yeah, come on. There's some men down there, Mr. Dillon. Yeah. If it was a fight, it sure didn't last long. One bullet can end a fight, Chester. Yes, sir. Well, there's somebody laying there. Looks like Hank Shin. Yeah. Nobody ain't paying any attention to him. They're all crowded around our old Jane's. Yeah. By golly, that is Jane's. I'm going to go take a look at Shen, Chester. You better go back and get Doc, huh? Yes, Mr. Dillon. I'll hurry. Chen. Chen. He, he shot me, Marshal. He shot me. Al James. He ran into me here. But I was so scared I couldn't say nothing. I, I tried to open my coat to show him I wasn't armed. And he shot me. Doc will be here in a minute, Jim. Marshal? Yeah. Marshal, I... I never killed nobody before today. No, I didn't think so. And fellas up in Blackhawk, they had a fight. I was the only other man there and I hid out till it was over. They killed themselves. And you took credit for it. Mm-hmm. It, it made people respect me. All kinds of people. You understand? Yeah, I understand. Mm-hmm. How's he doing, Marshal? I hit him twice. Marshal. Marshal. Well, he sure died slow. Pretty slow, James. He went for his gun, Marshal. The men over there can tell you they saw it. You heard about his reputation and you had to kill him, didn't you? Self-defense, Marshal. There's nothing to talk about. Hank Shen was a liar, James. His reputation was a fake. What? I don't believe you. It's true. Now, besides, he wasn't even armed. Take a look. 
He ain't wearing a gun. But he, he went for it. I saw him. Everybody did. He killed an unarmed man, James. I don't like that. You'll have to stand trial for it. That ain't what's bothering me. No? It was a mistake. I'll get off. But everybody's gonna be laughing at me. Especially if you tell him about him being a liar. He shot a drunk this afternoon, and that nearly scared him to death. You have to tell him that, Marshal? I don't like gunmen, James. What do you mean? After this, your reputation isn't going to be worth much. It won't be worth nothing. So it looks like Hank Shen got himself a gunman after all, doesn't it? All right, come on, let's go to jail. <laughs> And now our star, William Conrad. Thank you, George. Mild and plenty quick on the draw. That's L&M for you. And the pure white miracle tip on the business end of every L&M filters out everything but the taste of the world's finest tobaccos. All you have to do is pick up a carton of L&M's and you'll see what I mean. L&M stands out from all the rest. Gunsmoke, produced and directed by Norman MacDonald, stars William Conrad as Matt Dillon, U.S. Marshal. Our story was specially written for Gunsmoke by John Meston, with music composed and conducted by Rex Corey. Sound patterns by Tom Hanley and Bill James. Featured in the cast were Vic Perrin, Paul Dubov, and Barney Phillips. Harley Bear is Chester, Howard McNear is Doc, and Georgia Ellis is Kitty. Put a smile in your smoking. Next time you buy cigarettes, stop. Remember, only Chesterfield is made the modern way with Accuray. This amazing quality detective electronically checks and controls the making of your Chesterfield, giving a uniformity and smoking quality never possible before. For the first time, you get a perfect smoke column from end to end. From the first puff to the last puff, Chesterfield smokes smoother. Chesterfield smokes cooler. Chesterfield is best for you. Next time you buy cigarettes, stop, remember... Chesterfield is made the modern way with Accuray. Put a smile in your smoking, just give them a try. Light up a Chesterfield, they satisfy. You'll also enjoy Chesterfield's great radio show. Perry Como sings all the top tunes on CBS Radio every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Jack Webb stars in Dragnet on Tuesday nights. Check your local listings. Listen to Gunsmoke again next week, transcribed for L&M Filters.